What is up guys? In this video I'm going to be showing you how you can download a web driver for Selenium and more specifically we're going to be going over how you can download the Chrome web driver and the first thing you have to do is go to Google slash Chrome and download Google Chrome and what's really important is you pay attention to what version you get. For example I went ahead and downloaded the Google Chrome version 90.0 and so on you just need to keep in mind that this version number is important because when we go to download the web driver, it has to match the version. And in general, you can just right click on the Google Chrome icon on either Windows or MacBook, and it should be able to tell you of the current version of Google Chrome that you have just installed. But once you've downloaded Google Chrome, we can go ahead and download the web driver. So all you have to do is go ahead and type in download Chrome web driver, and it will take you to chromedriver.chromium.org. So just go ahead and click on that link and you're going to see some current releases. And as I explained earlier, the version number is important. As you can see here, we have version 90, just like we had with the one that I have installed for my own computer. So that should match with the driver that you will install. But once you find the correct version number, go ahead and click on it. And it's going to take you to this page over here. And now it's important that you pick the correct version for your computer. If you have a Windows, click on this one over here. Otherwise, if you have a MacBook with M1 or Mac 64, click the appropriate version. And once you click on it, it's going to install it. It's a very small package and it's going to end up in your downloads folder. Then you just want to unzip that and what you will end up with is a driver looking like this one. And I'm just going to go ahead and create a folder in my desktop. It's going to be called drivers. And we're just going to drag that to the drivers folder. Next, we want to go ahead and find out the path for this driver. So we're just going to right click on it. And I believe you can do the same thing in Windows. And you just want to copy the path, the absolute path to this driver. So we'll just copy that and we can actually go to our project finally. Here we're just going to go ahead and type in Chrome driver and that's going to equal a string with your Chrome driver. And this is not the full path. We also need to specify the driver that we'll be using, which is the Chrome driver. And this name over here should be exactly the same as the driver that you have installed and insert it into this folder. But of course, before we move further with this project, we have to go ahead and also install Selenium. So pip install Selenium. And you'll notice that it is a very small library, so it will install very fast, and that we can just go ahead and import it immediately by typing from Selenium import web driver. So the next thing to do is to go ahead and test that it works. So we'll go ahead and type in driver is going to equal a web driver dot Chrome and we should insert our Chrome driver. Then let's insert a link for it to open. So we'll type in driver dot get and inside here you can insert any link you want. We're just going to go ahead and type in HTTPS double dot double slash www.google.com for example. And then we just have to go ahead and run the program. So let's see if it actually works. And as you can see, Selenium will open and it will take us to google.com. So everything is working perfectly. And that's actually all it takes to install Selenium. Now that we have successfully installed Selenium, I can finally get started with showing you guys how we can automate many web tasks and how we can actually scrape some data from the web using Selenium. So I hope this tutorial helped. If it did, remember to leave a like. And with that being said, I will see you guys in the next video.